Welcome to Permaculture Poppy, aka Mycosymbiote's World. Reconnect, regenerate, rebel from the culture of hate. Let's grow, propagate, and myceliate. Watch, like, subscribe, go outside. Outdoor spirulina, no pump, literally you just bought a five gallon jug of Deer Park water, amended it with baking soda and nutrients, added the culture, and it's been going great out here. It gets full sun during the day. Sun comes in right around 8, 8.30, and it gets sun full until the sun goes down. Um, and then at the end of the day, the tank, this uh, jug is nice and warm, um, and it holds on to some of that temperature for the day. Um, so we're just using these for expansion. We're not growing these out in this plastic, particularly for uh, full harvests, um, but we're going to grow this out to expand into a nice uh, 20 uh, some gallon tank uh, where we're going to be cultivating in full sun right around where that Tahoe is because that gets full sun earlier in the day for the entire day. Um, and that's where we're going to be growing our spirulina. So it's all gravel in that area um, that's going to turn out into a spirulina farm this year. Bless up. All right, guys, um, the sun is setting. And uh, here we have our just small scale, um, no electricity spirulina setup. Uh, we have two tanks. Uh, they both they the tanks that we're using hold 22 gallons, and they are meant for fermenting, um, so food grade plastic. Um, and uh, here we have our Arthrospira cultures. That one's nice. Um, it's still actually spinning from uh, me mixing it. Um, so I've been mixing it by hand with this uh, pole that I had not used. Um, from some of our events um, and I've just been doing kind of a biodynamic uh, method here I'll show you guys um, but in, in the sunlight um, and in the moon um, coming in here and um, I put a little bit more energy into it whenever I'm doing it with both my hands um, but I get it mixing in one direction for a while and then I get it mixing in the other direction um, and I do this for gas exchange I do this to, to agitate the culture um, just to keep it active so some of the culture uh the cells in the bottom can come up to the top um, and they can get dispersed um i do this a couple times a day and um yeah we have these two tanks here almost ready for harvest this one stalled out a little bit um i'm not exactly sure why but uh whoa look at those spirals in there that's crazy um i'm not exactly sure why um that it stalled um but it stalled and uh but it's bouncing back um, and, uh, yeah, I'm expecting a harvest soon, and this is growing in all spring water, uh, local spring water, um, that we've amended with baking soda and, um, and nutrients. Yeah, so, uh, the fireflies are starting to come out. Um, I don't know if y'all can, I don't know. There, oh, there was one. Well, the fireflies are starting to come out, and, uh, we got our little garden set up here, um, for this year. There's, there's a firefly right there. Um, compost pile right there old chicken coop busted down um, but yeah we're just transitioning through things um, but yeah cool spirulina sink set up I just wanted to show you guys what we had going on uh, peace all right guys another update on the spirulina grow low tech no tech no electricity back here at all um, excuse my dead chamomiles they did not survive the transplant but uh yep we got our spirulina tanks out here food grade 22 gallon fermentation tanks look at that hasn't been spun all night and you can see the spirulina coagulating in there let me go ahead and take my little spinner pole here get it all nice and mixed up big old tanks happy algae gonna harvest today i mean you can see it's dense that the pole disappears very quickly. I mean, you can't see it. Um, that's one of the ways that you test your culture density. Um, there's a there's a tool called a Sechi disc that's actually a little target on the end of a ruler. Um, and after a certain amount of inches, um, once you can't see the uh, target anymore, you can tell your culture density. Um, so here we have our other beautiful culture. And you can see the algae coagulating um, since I don't have any pumps in here or anything like that um, it stays it'll just uh, go still 
in between my mixing, um, which is completely fine. Um, in a lot of uh, third world spirulina farms, um, they'll use paddles to actually agitate their culture instead of um, instead of electrical pumps or anything like that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead up and give this a mix and I'll tap back into you guys whenever we're harvesting later today. But yeah, full grown, sun grown spirulina. Uh, it's been mixed under the moonlight, spinning it, spinning it in both directions so that the energies of the day and the energies of the night can sink right into the surface area in the spiral. Um, but yeah, beautiful cultures, and we'll get back to you shortly. Ah, Shay's over here with the harvest. <laughs> it built up too much? <laughs> a little bit. We got a, li we got a little, little filter through. We're collecting some spirulina. It's in there. From our outdoor tanks. It's been a month. We've been building cultures. We're pulling our first harvest, and then we're going to expand next time we visit the spring into these other tanks. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get some more tanks. Look at all that soupy. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Look at that spoon. Hey, you can see his face. <laughs> Alright guys, we filtered the spirulina with filtered water. We grow it in spring water, but we filter it in, in filtered water because it just rinses away down the drain. Um, but we're dewatering it now. Um, when we, when we start to do our big harvest, we're gonna get our apple juice press back. I don't know if I have all the pieces for my old one, but we'll have to maybe get a new apple juice press um, to dewater. But right now, Shay is removing any of the excess water that's not necessary anymore so that we just have a nice... It's still coming out pretty decently water clean. Water spirulina. It's still coming out nice and yeah. clear? That's I mean, good. a little bit, but not... When it starts to like seep out, It's gonna be a nice little puck. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's check it out. I'm wrapping the president's like That's crazy. That's nice. And then we can just put this into a nice pack, freezer pack, squish it and put it in the <coughs> freezer, break off cool. little pucks. Cool.